Okay. All right. What's up, guys? I hope everybody's tuning in right now. Chef Tim, first time ever going live on YouTube. That's right. It's Cinco de Mayo, and we're gonna we're gonna be preparing some amazing dishes. Okay. So what I have over here now, as you can see here, I'm preparing some black beans. I'm doing a lime cilantro rice, and also I'm gonna be preparing the barbecue sauce for my Southern Comfort Citrus. Barbecue sauce for the ribs. I've had it. I've had a. I've had out on the smokers. Okay. So first things first. I'm going to turn on my my uh, mixture here on my pan here, and I have in here some extra virgin olive oil. It's going to be uh, getting ready to be primed up for the for the uh, black beans, and then also I have a rice going right here. Then I'll put that together. So that as well as I'm going to turn on. Turn on this medium saucepan right here. I'm going to be sauteing up the onions for the rice. That's right. We're going to have onions, lime, cilantro, seal it up real nice. The soco back here is with a nice smoky barbecue sauce and a little bit of sweet baby rice as well. And then I have my black meat that I'm doing here. And you see over here, I have my adobo pepper. I have some garlic, some tomatoes, and then I'm doing it with some lime and then a little hint of cilantro in there. So we're going to have a nice palette of flavors on everything that we're doing here and then what we're going to do after this stuff gets, gets going we're going to go outside and put up a nice crisp up on our ribs that we have so we have ribs going we have some venison going in the smoker as well as, well as uh some beef that we had going on from earlier so our smoker's going we have our our, our uh our brewing going for our beers and then we also have our grill going for our uh ribs that we're going to be smoking up and then also because i'm vegan i got some uh portobello caps smoking right now the smoker i'm what i'm going to do with those is that i'm going to actually take them bad boys and uh pull those and make a um make a pulled portobello mushroom taco because that's what we're doing and also i'm sure that's sure that something as well right here i made this guacamole from earlier uh and in here is this uh, jalapenos, uh, uh, tomatoes, onions, cilantro, all different types of seasons or whatever. And then to give it a little bit of elevation, because that's what I always do with Chef Tim. I actually did um, uh, three shots of tequila in here and let it sit there for about, I want to say about good four to six hours, just letting it marinate and letting all of the uh, flavors and juices come together. So. Right now, I got a good smoke going on for both my pans. And now I'm going to come over here and put the, put in my pan my garlic. And then I'm going to add a little adobo in there. And this is going to create a nice, very nice aromatic for that, okay? And then I also have my pan here for my for my um, beans, uh, right now I'm doing. So I'm throwing in here some onions in here just to get the bad boys nice and sweated out. I'm not gonna brown them too much, just get them to the point where once we add them to our rice, we won't have to sit there and add on more yeah. cook time to that, okay? All right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I wish you guys were here right now because you would smell all these great flavors of food right now. And it is just wonderful. Right now, so I'm gonna put some over here, take your gloves off. Come over here, I'm gonna grab my spatula. You have my top it on up right here. And what this does, this is gonna give break up the, the monotony from the mellowness of the black beans to give it a nice flavor, a nice, a nice kick to it as well. So what I'm doing right now is just create the, the aromatic element for that as well. And then I'm going to kind of brown up these. Hold on, excuse me. That shouldn't be in there. All right. One second. Well, I'm going to give a nice sweat to these onions and then set them aside. And then I'm also going to turn on my barbecue sauce on a low simmer because I, I don't want to cook this too fast. I want it on a low simmer. As you can see here, I have about maybe a Three to, about three to four ounces of Southern Comfort in there, okay? So I'm gonna add this to the barbecue sauce because you always wanna add the, 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 your uh, alcohol in 
at the early stages. Therefore, you won't have to worry about anything raw in the mixture, okay? So as you can see here, because I put it in at a high smoke point, it's giving a nice caramelization to it. It's all coming together very well. So then, I'm going to add in my black beans here, okay? Now I'm doing about three cans right here, just to get that going. So you want to get it hot and high first, just to get all the uh, flavors from all the other elements expound into the beans. And then, after that, you want to kind of give it low and slow, okay? Because that's how you want the beans to be low and slow, okay? So now all my flavors have been expound from the elements, and now we're going to get them out with low and slow, okay? And with here, I'm going to add maybe a tablespoon of cilantro in there. Let's do one more tablespoon of cilantro in there, just to give it a, a nice little freshness of, of a fresh herb in there, okay? Give me it. So I've already put my beans on onto the to, to simmering. As you can see right now, I'm actually starting you're starting to see a little bit of a translucency in your onions here, okay? And I did maybe a medium ch chopping with that one. You don't have to do them too small, only if you want to do them small enough. But I'm doing it big enough to the point when you're, you're eating your rice, you have a nice element of onion in there. A nice little chewiness of onion in all your rice to break up the monotony of just having just grains in your rice. Okay? So, a big one on simmer. Now it's the perfect time to season up, up, this, up my beans. Okay? I'm going to do about Two tablespoons of, of, of uh, sea salt. Let's get a little, let's get a little extra garlic in there. Okay, a little garlic powder. A little paprika. A little chili powder. Just to give it a little extra kick to, to the black beans. And one thing I love to put in all my Mexican food or Spanish food. A little bit of cumin in there, okay? That cumin gives them a nice element to it, just as far as taste, and, and makes everything come together. So for me, I believe cumin is a staple. All right, a little bit of cayenne over there. I'm gonna give this all a quick stir, okay? Let them bad boys, let that flavor, so all those season seeds marry together and be at a low heat step to get a time to actually work together, okay? So, I'm gonna give it my, my uh, spatula a quick rest off as well, again. So here, here is where you want Here is where you want to have your onions at. You want them not not caramelized, but a nice sweat to them. And you still want to have a little, a little whiteness to them as well, just because you have still a little bit of that raw flavor along mixed with the uh, sweat flavor, the onions. Awesome, awesome. So now you have our rice going. It's gonna take a while, about 30, 40 minutes, okay? Rice going in there. Then what we're gonna do here is once that rice gets to a point where it starts boiling up, we're going to add in our onion, add in our cilantro, add the lime to it. Speaking of lime, we're going to add some lime to our black beans, okay? So about half a lime to your black beans, and probably the other half of my lime that I cut up, is going to go into my uh, rice as well, because I believe have a nice citrus flavor in there. Brighten it up, it's springtime, so you don't want anything too two monotone as far as flavors. So what we're doing here with this is building up a palette as far as for our black beans, okay? Let's so our rice is going over here. And then I'm gonna stir up my Southern Comfort barbecue sauce for the ribs that I smoked for about two to three hours. 
And for my ribs, I did a nice brown sugar uh, barbecue base seasoning. Smoked and bevels are up real nice. And if you give me a chance to show you over here, I'm gonna show you right now, guys. I gave a nice little trim to them. I didn't cut too much fat off of them, but a nice little caramelization to them as well, okay? So we are seeing, this is from it being smoked for two or three hours. And then what I'm gonna do on the grill is, I'm just gonna give it a nice crisp to this, add the barbecue sauce to it, and give it that just wonderful flavor. It's gonna send it over the top, okay, as well. So that's ready to go. I think I'm good at everything. I'm gonna put my guacamole back in the, in the fridge. So therefore, I give it time to stay cool, as well as give it a nice bold punch of flavor to it as well, okay? Now, for those who like a little bit more spice, I will say to you, chop up or mint up some jalapenos, habaneros, whatever type of level of spiciness you enjoy, to the beans, put it in there. Just make sure that you you cook it right and you cook it long enough to, to get the spice to a mellow point because you don't want to have a too bunch of a pungy a, a, a punginess to the spice to the point where it burns your palate. Okay, so that's all going, and we are actually good here. So I'm gonna leave this going and let's head outside with my rack of ribs here. All right. So if you're coming out here, you've seen everybody's out here ready for the food to grill up. Everybody say, hey. Six, Alright. 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 The most needy part of the ribs down first on a high temperature there, ready to go because I, I want to give it a nice crispness to it, right? Okay? So we're going to add these ribs here. As you can hear the sizzle right now, that's the fat and the sugar coming together on that as well. And then, Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
my mushrooms over here. Okay. A nice cold mushroom. See right now, they have a lot of dryness to them from from being a smoker. So I'm gonna add a little olive oil to that real quick. Get a little moisture to them. So when you when you pull them off, they're gonna, they're gonna pull together real nice. Okay? And you can see the nice charness from. From being in the smoker, I love it. Nice dark center. Okay. Move these back around like this. Remember, I still have. You see right there that like pork line right there from the fat. Let's give that a nice juiciness. Let's that up real quick. Let's that up real quick. Hey, look on the other side. Okay, look at that. Look at that. This is where you want your ribs. Not too much of a char on them, but char enough to give the caramelization a little bubbling to it. So when you get what our, our cut into for our barbecue, you're gonna give a nice good flavor because remember, I'm also putting on this bad boy as well. Uh, Southern Comfort, Barbecue Club, okay? So, let's add our sauce to it, okay? Remember, this is the Southern Comfort citrus sauce, okay? This is what else. A nice monkey barbecue sauce, along with a little bit of a uh, sweet okay? Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Let's let that marry. Look at that. Oh. Let's So what I love about cooking vegan food is that these do not take as much time as meat does, okay? These are, these are about ready to come off, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these off about another five minutes, let them sit in the bowl, bowl, let it come down to about a room temp because they're too hot, and then the juices from these bad boys are going to actually going to, the, the, the juices from these mushrooms are actually going to come together. When I pull it apart, it's going to have their own juices to it. You can add a little barbecue sauce to it and give it a great So right now, I have somebody that I want you guys to meet. You guys have been watching CTJ Films. You guys see all my photography, all my artwork. It's not me. I have a great team with me. And one of the people that I really want to give a shout out to is none other than Ashley Nera or Ashley Young. She has been on me since day one. I got her and her husband together. I said, hey, I have this, I have this dream. I have this passion for uh, cooking. This is what I want to do as far as for uh, the artwork of culinary and all they said was yes whenever you're ready and that and I just want to say right now on public you know on on video on camera on live that I appreciate you guys and all that all you guys do so all that amazing artwork you see that amazing camera work you see the editing is done by the guy right now behind the camera Eli Nera Ashley Nera does all the camera work as well you know this, this is a dynamic dual team that I I am blessed to have 
and this is a public appreciation for you guys. And so this is this, this is the champ that does all my photography, and she be doing all my uh, photo shoots and whatnot. And whenever I go somewhere, she's right there with a camera ready to go, getting shots that I would never think about getting. And she has just been a blessing to me, and my family. Also, also, since we're since I got you guys here, go follow her on Instagram, AJ Art and Photography. Okay, that's at AJ Art and Photography. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. She is ahead of her time. She is uh, futuristic, artistic, and she is she's a beautiful mind and beautiful soul for for photography. Okay, guys. So this is. This is my uh, my camera camera person, camera woman. She does it all. She's Wonder Woman. And then her husband, who's behind the camera right there, he's the one who does all the editing, and he's the one who shoots ideas to me. And she'll say, "Hey, boss, let's do this, let's do that." You know, what do you really want to do? Hey, boss. Whatever. I'm just saying, hey, Tim, hey, Chef, whatever. You know, whatever you say. Never once called you, hey, boss. Hey, 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 chief. I don't know. Hey, guy. So, let's turn these ribs over, okay? Big again, uh, actually. All right. So I'm gonna do a little more of that sauce over there. And then let this kind of caramelize on there as well. Give it a nice crust to it, and then these apples should be ready to go. So now, as you can see right now. A little reserve liquid that's coming on, to, on, on top of the mushrooms says we have ready to go. So I'm gonna go in here. Grab me a bowl out of here. Hello, Eddie. Hello. What do you do here at CTJ Films? I do here. Alright. Come on. You brew beer. That's my business partner, Eddie Gary. He's a the blue master behind everything. So now I'm taking a simple bowl here. I'm gonna put all my mushrooms in here, set aside. And so I'm gonna let, let that way sit for about a good 15 minutes just to kind of rest from being on the grill. And by the time I'm putting the belly back in there, come back out here, these ribs are ready to go, okay? So I'm gonna close this up. Let it sit here. Put that in here. Olive oil as well. Say hi, Devin. Hold on, guys. So, mushrooms are ready. I'm going to sit there, side my things. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. This is a very great, great smell to these things. Very ar aromatic, the garlic cumin, the chili powder, the garlic powder, you know, just the, the strong essence of this flavor in, in these beans are giving me life right now. So my rice, about halfway there. So right now I'm going to add in my sweated onions, okay? As you come over here to see me guys doing this, I'm adding them to my rice at this point because it's almost ready to go. And so this is going to cook with the rice. And right now, it's time for me to season my rice. Sea salt. Black pepper. Garlic powder. And a little paprika in there as well. And then here is my twist, okay? This is a garlic sriracha seasoning. Phenomenal. I put in my, uh, my aioli for my vegan uh, full po' boys that I did on my uh, channel, uh, uh, I'm sorry, my Instagram a few, a, a few weeks back, okay? Let's go here now. I'm also gonna add in, especially the full mushrooms. Yeah, so I'm saying, put much of the pork Yeah, remember, because it looks like that, like uh, aioli, and like the, uh, the, the, uh, flamingo. So I'm going to add a little bit more than I did to the black beans as far as for citrus, okay? 
Hey, hey, Chef Tim. Yes, sir. Just so you know, we have YouTube Liveception. So Inception right now. <laughs> Listen, Chef Tim. Yes. This is the reason why you keep us around. Exactly. Because, because. Oh. Cooking is supposed to be fun. It no. is. So, now let's get to the real fun part. Pull off the ribs. Come hey, on. let's go. All right. Rip time. All right, now. Are you even in Chicago if you don't post a picture? I do not need any uh, marriage proposals or anybody trying to have my children after this, okay? I'm going to try this rip, okay? Look at those ribs. The caramelization peach is doing no bad for us. Remember, guys, this is a Southern Comfort barbecue sauce, okay? Let me just tell real quick to get up to that, okay? There it is. There it is. Remember, guys, these ovens have been smoking for at least two or three hours, so they're basically cooked. I'm just giving a little caramelization for the salt and okay? Any comments, comments or questions yet? Nothing yet. All right. Cool by me, guys. Just people enjoying what they're seeing. Awesome, guys. I love it. How many are at? How many, how, how many viewers are we at? Currently? Yeah. Two. Awesome. And one like. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Earlier, we were at three people and two likes. But then Devin popped up on the screen. And then we let's like, thanks Devin. So now, the sauce is now add on there. I'm gonna give another layer to it, okay? Beep, beep. Rips is heading there. Put the rest. Sauce is on there. A little more down on here. Sauce is ready to go. My black beans should be on the ready to go as well. I think they are, because they're they cooked black beans, so we just added that flavor to them. I'm going to try to grab it off right here. And give them a little taste. Okay. We're here right now to taste the intensity of the flavor, the cumin, the lime, the chili powder, the paprika, the garlic, the time. So we got raw garlic in it that we sauteed up with the adobo as well as the tomatoes. The cilantro gives that that nice freshness kick to it. It's amazing, guys. It's amazing. So this is how you should always do your bike beans flavorful, full of flavor, and it's ready to go. Okay. So as you can see right now, I'm going to come over here. I'm almost done cooking up my rice. And this is how fast it's going to go. So a lot of times you got to cook our rice. Make sure you keep your eye on your rice, okay? Because it's almost, it's almost coming to yourself. So at this point, we're almost done adding up cilantro. You give it, you, you put some, uh, some lime in there. Give it one lime. So let's cut into our ribs. So Tim. Yes. While we're cutting into the ribs. Yes. Uh, can we have Eddie and Devin tell us what they're brewing outside? You sure can. And I'm going to turn it over to Eddie and Devin right now to give a little more of what they're brewing. 
Great. Uh, uh, why don't we uh, take a walk outside? Let's do it. Uh, do we need the uh, hops? Or no, no, we got the timer going. We've got about 20 minutes before we need uh, the hops. Nicely in there. So right now we've got a boil going on a Kolsch. It's a, a German a German beer, uh, mostly two row malts, uh, a little Munich. It's uh, got like a light caramel yeah, put a little, type of flavor. Wheat, a little wheat uh, malt in there uh, to sweeten it up to give it a little better head retention when mm -hmm. we're done. Uh, at about 60 minutes, we're going to add an ounce of Saz hops and a special uh, lemon drop. They mm -hmm. are very lemony, fruity, citrus loads of citrus. Um, that'll give us a little uh, bitterness. And then right five minutes before we're done, we're gonna add another ounce of sauce, another ounce of lemon drop to really pound in that citrusy flavor. Yeah, nice, uh, nice summery flavor, good summer drinking. After that, we're gonna toss it into a uh, glass fermenter we're doing? Uh, we're gonna do a fi fi glass five carboy. gallon uh, glass carboy. Uh, and then we're gonna ferment it with Omega Yeast Lab, uh, Kolsch 2 yeast. Uh, then it'll be about, uh, about two weeks of fermentation, yeah, and mm -hmm. then uh, we will uh, take that and we will uh, take that from the fermenter and we will put that into a uh, five gallon corny keg, carve it up, and about a day or so after that, we'll have some good beer to drink. Uh, sit on the back porch, awesome, awesome. So, right now in the barrel, what do we got going on? The uh, we did the wart, we uh, boil, uh, we brought some water up to a boil, we took a uh, what's called brew in a bag, it's a big mesh sack. Put that in there, dumped all of our grains in there, let that sit for about an hour. It sat about uh, somewhere between 60 minutes to 90 minutes, and uh, right at about 156, 160 degrees, right in that range. Uh, that'll pull the, sh the sugar out of the uh, out of the grain, the grain from the starches, from yeah. the starch sugars, and, and uh, leaves us with our, our uh, called wort, basically sugar water, sugar water, unfermented beer. <laughs> after uh, we boil that up there. And then we add our hops, and like I said, put it in a fermenter, add some yeast. Awesome, awesome. So let's go back inside and let's rejoin Chef Tim and see how he's doing on the ribs. Chef, chef, chef! Paparazzi, paparazzi, what are you doing? We're cutting up ribs. That's it. Yeah, I mean, my rice is done, my black beans are done. You guys have seen how we grew our beer. And now, if you guys, if you guys in here want to stay in here, they can pick the ribs. Ooh. So don't have to tell me twice. There we go. <laughs> All right. You got to twist my arm about it, so, Chef. <laughs> let's get this like this, okay? If you don't know where to put in your ribs, kind of flip it over like so. But, Chef, is this the knife you want to use? Because that's not a knife. You thought I was a kind of game, my neck, please. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. I'm gonna take out my gloves. I think I'll run out, okay? Now, you can wonder. Hurry. <clears throat> my ribs. Oh my goodness. Uh, Brewmaster Eddie over there is really taking a sweet time building up the tension. Yes. Now that's a knife. That's a knife, Mark. All right. You know, a little marrow never hurt nobody. Marrow has flavor, baby. <laughs> Dramatic effect, guys. Kyle had some curvy bones. It's uh, pork. Pig thousand. Oh, okay. Makes a noise when I eat it. <laughs> so, I wanna... When you eat it? 
That means it's done at a perfect temperature. Mm -hmm. Only a little bit. Yeah, you know, that cut's going a little bit faster now that he's switched back to his uh, paring knife. <laughs> hey, chef, is this your famed plate up? Yes. That perfect done this. You have the ring around it from the front of me smoke for a couple hours. Give it a nice smokiness to it. And now we have our Flavor added onto it. And not the vegans. Go for it. It's a grab, you know, and hey, whoa, 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 can't man. Watch yourself. Yeah, well, you want to be in the shot? Yeah, no, wait. Halt. Wait, 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 what, five seconds from when they taste the food and it reacts to the palate, okay? Gentlemen, go in. Silence. Good food right there. They silent. When they've already taken two bites and haven't said a word, Devin's going for the third. That's awesome. Uh, I think we need a shout out to that barbecue sauce. That's okay. That's so amazing. this is the barbecue sauce I use for my, my it's called Lily Q's Barbecue Sauce and Rubs. They are, let's see where they're from. This is a Memphis style fire starter at Sweet Up Front. My fans with plenty of heat. Chef Charlie adds a touch of brown sugar and cayenne to make hot smoky perfect for your slow cooked ribs. Look you did today. Why don't you come in here and try it, Hannah? Come and try it, come on. Thank you so much, Hot Smoky. You are a factor to the ribs. You can see the gentlemen are uh, devouring them. Now, the <laughs> we got a lot of comments from the peanut gallery over there, don't we, Chef Tim? Sure do. Watch it out. <laughs> they said all but like two or three words and they've been eating the whole room. That's how you know your food is just really good. The flavors are built up. You have the smokiness in there, you have the indirect heat, and then you take from the indirect heat and then you do a barbecue sauce with a lily cute smoky, smoky barbecue sauce. The hot and the heat adds that as well. Put a little southern comfort in there because remember, we all need a little southern comfort. And then add that a little bit of soup baby rays and give it that nice caramelization on the grill. So we have some amazing ribs. These guys are devouring up. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't want to put my hand by either one of their faces right now because I'll probably get my fingers cut bit off. So this you got that barbecue sauce on you know they're gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay guys the cameraman doesn't want to eat or nothing. Give me one second I'll get you a rib. Yeah I'll whatever. Take that camera no me. no no don't touch me come on come on oh yeah vegans can't have this yeah, yeah. take that come on You said Chef Tim can? <laughs> Those are just delightful. Thank you. This is how you know you're a professional eater. You find the bone first. There's plenty of hidden bone in there. Then you go for the meat under it. Go grab a uh, popsicle. I did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we don't have pop here, we have beer. <laughs> <laughs> plenty of beer. Okay, Fajra. Eli, 
Look at, look at the face. Look at the face. And now... The non-vegans eating. So now we got Eddie's pops coming in to try one of, one of the ribs here. Come on over. Yeah, let me grab He's got to get his makeup on, right? Yeah, get his makeup. <laughs> He's got to be camera ready. Share the cutting board, man. I don't want to drip all over the other ribs. Even though they're mine. <laughs> all mine! <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Why would I want to? Exactly. What do we got in time? Seven and a half. Okay, listen, guys. If the rest of the video looks a little blurry or has like a, a smoky undertone on the lens, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Any condensation and Tim is drooling? No, I'm not. <laughs> Tim's just sitting over there crying. He's like, hey, I chose to be a vegan. All right, so let's get. Listen, guys, here's the thing. It's not that we don't like vegans. It's just we don't like Tim being a vegan. <laughs> All right, here's Pops. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. We... Five second rule, baby. You're good. <laughs> I don't well, care if it's five seconds or five minutes, I'm still eating. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. Very good. Thank you. You can help. You can't. You know what? You struggle a little bit. Yeah. Brandy, <laughs> that's what you like. I have nice things. What? I don't have nice things. Actually, it has nice things. Good smoke flavor. Yeah. Okay, going back to this. Yeah? Oh yeah. oh yeah. Guys, I'm trying to hurry up so Tim, Tim can get his finger off the lens. It's not on the list. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so a little backstory about me and Tim while I'm devouring these. Um, I've known Tim since freshman orientation day of high school. Wow. So we've known each other for 14 plus years. Right. When Tim called me up and said, hey, Eli, I got this idea because I was on Food Network. I did guys grocery games. That's not enough for me. We need to do more. And when he said we, that clicked in my head that, hey, listen, this guy's been by my side since freshman year. I got to help him out any way, shape, or form. So we came together, me, my wife, Ashley, and Tim, and we decided, you know what? We need to change up the culinary game. We need to go out there and make cooking fun again. Not to say it wasn't fun, but put the funny back in the cooking. Because cooking... Food is the center of life for me. <laughs> you gotta eat to live, right? Right. So, why not make it fun? Why not make it enjoyable instead of, oh, I gotta cook dinner again. Oh, I gotta make this. It's okay. You Come can on. walk into the shop. It's fine. You got, you got, you got. I'm just rambling. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm just rambling while I'm eating. It's fine. <laughs> so, <laughs> we decided we're gonna. Uh, we're gonna put a new take on cooking and come up with cooking with Chef Tim. Right. Because I know Tim's character. I know Tim as a person. Guys, believe it or not, it's kind of funny. No. Not just funny looking. Ha! Uh, so, this guy. Well, I gotta talk about yourself like this. Because I'm insecure, Devin. <laughs> mm. That went nowhere. So, we just came up with some great videos for you guys. Some great content that we hope you guys enjoy. That you see, you find some inspiration from. And you go out and you decide you want to try and make that. You want to try and create that dish your way. You want to try and elevate it yourself. That's why we put out these videos. For you guys. Exactly, exactly. Because Chef Tim wants to spread his knowledge of cooking, his knowledge of how to elevate stuff, how to adjust this recipe 
for others. Right. So everything we do here at CCJ Films, everything we do with Two Lords Food and Brewing, uh, with Stitch Masters, Custom Tailors, with AJ Art and Photography, my wife, my love. We're doing this all for you guys so you guys can get the best content, the best creation, the best food. As Devin walks into my shot again! <laughs> Mine! Alright, whatever. All right. But yeah, let me get Chef Tim back, you know, because right. this is not mine, this is his. Okay. Alright, guys, so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna wrap it up for you guys because we've been on here for almost an hour now. And just to show you guys some of what we do, some of, of how we put together this amazing food. Because for me, it's not just a flavor, it's an experience. Whether you could be having a hard day at work, Maybe it's, it's a beautiful day like, like today, or just you have a hard time. Food is therapy. Food is life, and food is love. So for me, I want to give you all the love that I can through my food, through my flavors, through the passion that I have. And so to let you guys know, this is only the beginning. Um, this coming Monday, I'm actually going to be working with Chef Tim Byers at the James Beard Foundation Awards uh, in Chicago here. Some of the world's top chefs, the chefs we've seen on Chef's Table on Netflix from the world, uh, 50 or 50 chefs. I mean, these great, great people. We are going to make sure that you guys know that we are in the mix. Chef Tim is being recognized from the people sharing videos, from the people commenting, telling me, telling me what I should fix, what I should do, this and that. So I thank you guys so much for coming in. It's been an hour, or a little bit under an hour. Thank you so much. Please enjoy your Cinco de Mayo. Don't drink and drive. If you get too buzzed, call an Uber, call a Lyft, call a friend. Don't drive home yourself, okay? Love you, God bless. CTJ Films, AJ Art Photography, Two Lewis Brewing, Stitch Masters Cup Tailors, who, and that, and Stitch Masters is, is, is the company that manufactures and designs all my chef coats that you guys have seen on me and all my aprons and whatnot, okay? So thank you guys so much. God bless. I will see you guys when I see you guys. We're ready to cut the beef and some of the venison if you want to. No, we're, we're in there. You guys don't, don't need to cut any more meat. You only get you only get one meat, okay? All right, peace. There you go. Enjoy your day.